Hello, my beautiful darlings. How are you today? It is me, Nikki Allen, the bedroom guru. Here yet again to furnish you with some spooky goings on for Halloween. As you know, I've been giving you a few little ghost stories just to get you in the mood. At the end of the day, with everything going on at the moment, you know, having a little fun and having a little spookiness going on is going to add to your weekend, hopefully. What I'm going to talk to you to, today about is something that most probably tried me the most being medium. In fact, I remember on this evening on Halloween 2009, going out to the back garden of this place we were at and saying to my friend, I don't think I can handle this. I really don't know what to do. It's the first and last time that's ever happened. Um, but as you'll see from watching the video, it really wasn't going very well. It is basically set in a pub called the Plough Inn um, in Halstead in Essex, in a place called Manning Tree, um, next to Missley, I think it is. And um, as usual, it was going to be a paranormal investigation on Halloween at the pub because the um, owners reported lots of um, activity there. Um, and so we thought, we'll have a little go at that. It had never been investigated before. I don't know if it's been investigated since, but there's a reason I'll tell you in a minute. Um, and we were all excited, it was a public event, um, and it was a really, really good evening, you know, we were really looking forward to it. So we went and had a little curry beforehand, <laughs> get our energies up, and then we all ventured to the Plough Inn. Now at the time, we never expected um, what was to happen to happen, so my brother literally was just using a camcorder. And with his magnificence, Richard Allen, who's also another psychic medium, you can do readings for you, you can look him up on Facebook, um, just a little plug for you, Rich. Um, he ended up, he's a filmmaker as well, and he ended up um, editing all of the camcorder footage, putting interviews in, and it just looks amazing. In fact, it was so um, well received that it was played in the cinema at the Southland Film Festival. So we're very proud of what, what we achieved, but the content obviously spoke for itself. Um, so yeah, we, we ventured to this pub and um, to begin with, we had some wonderful interaction. There was a spirit boy and that was wandering around the place. And what was really good was, was that um, people were verifying him in separate groups, you know, so they would come back, oh, we had this boy. Oh my God, we had the same boy. So it was really good confirmation and corroboration. Um, he even moved a trigger object the weird place, which was a little toy car. Um, we interacted with a number of people. It was, really, it was really quite an exciting evening to begin with. Um, then at midnight, everything just turned really dark. All the spirits just literally left the building. Um, and I, I, I thought we'd best all reconvene in a safety area that I always set up for paranormal investigations. It's surrounded by crystals. Um, you know, it's got ch chocolate, which is nice. We do like a bit of chocolate. Um, and sweet things and hot tea, hot coffee, so that you can get, gain your energy. Because what happens is when you go into a paranormal investigation, you tend to get your energy... Um, Zapped, um, not only your energy but also any batteries. So we had batteries going flat that were fully charged, um, and that's a natural thing that takes place. At the end of the day, most spirit people to manifest into the ether will use energy, any energy they can, to continue their manifestation. If that makes sense. And unfortunately, sometimes they zap you. Hence why we have a lot of sugar there. That's what I think. That's my rule. We must go to a paranormal investigation, and we must have chocolate and cake. Yes, that's one of my rules. <laughs> so, at the beginning of the evening, though, um, there was a man that came who used to be in the army, a real, you know, bear of a man, lovely, lovely guy, but he said to me, look, I've been dragged along by my mum, I'm a sceptic, you know, I'm not really into this sort of stuff, and he, he said, it's a bit of crap, really, he said, it's not really great, and uh, with it all, and I said, look, I said, as long as you don't interfere with other people's enjoyment, and that you don't poo-poo what we're doing, you're welcome, if not, go and wait in the car, you know, I can't have you, um, people have paid to come here, we're here for an experience, and if you're going to spoil it, then I'd rather you just leave now, and he goes, no, 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 I'm open-minded, but I'm just telling you, is it going to affect us, I said, no, not at all, so just stick by me, it'll be fine, so he was a complete virgin, if you like, and there were quite a few people that were quite new to this investigation. Um, so let's go back to midnight. Everything goes quiet. Every, all the spirit people disappear. And that normally means that there's either a darker energy or something that they really don't want to mix with. And um, we kind of picked this up when we reconvened, me and my brother. 
um, kind of said something not great in, you know, there's something's turned up. And um, so what I did was I scanned the building and I found the space where this thing was. And it was a back room, which now mysteriously fell down and collapsed. So nobody can go and investigate this area. Might still be a vortex there that they could investigate, but the actual building that you see the footage in um, has collapsed now. I'm going to put a link to the video because obviously it was it was put on ten years ago now. And have to see how much I've changed, darlings, when you see me in the video. See how much I've aged. Um, I'm going to give you a link in the descriptions below, um, or if not, just search the Birdbrook Ghost Hunt um, and you will get the full video, which is an hour long. So it's a perfect video for you to curl up, turn on the lights out tomorrow night on Halloween and whack it on. Um, I don't want to give too many spoilers away, but we had a very dark entity turn up and eventually after a lot of nastiness going on the communication board that we'd set up um, we, we, we were encountering the witch finder general Matthew Hopkins and he basically was alleging that we were all witches as we stood in this circle. It turns out that buried in the graveyard behind the pub which we also go and investigate there were witches there that were buried in unmarked graves um, from the Inquisition in the 1600s. It also turned out that this was a stomping ground for Matthew Hopkins, Hopkins who lived in Missley. He's also buried in Missley, I think. I think he's buried in Missley, yeah. And um, so we had inadvertently stuck ourselves slap bang in the middle of a vortex that brought this thing Matthew Hopkins threw from all those hundreds of years ago um, to wreak complete havoc from temperature spikes of 19 degrees, even though it was freezing, down to minus nine um, in the room. Pots were being thrown about the room. He was perpetually wanting to throw the grass off of the table. And then that's when he started to attack people around the table, in particular me and Bloody hell, the sceptic, Darren. Um, and it was beyond my control what he was doing. It's a very, very interesting video to watch. Um, if you're easily spooked by things like this, then it's up to you if you want to watch it. Um, but it is a really good record of what happens when you get a negative entity in the room and also the beautification of the cleansing time that took place afterwards. I have absolutely no doubt whatsoever that that spirit of that man still roams about wreaking his havoc. If you research him, he was just an evil, evil man. He used to um, obviously go around finding witches, which were normally herbalists, midwives, nurses, elderly people, ugly people even. So I was quite safe. Joking! And... Uh, yeah, he was just a really nasty man and he was responsible for killing over 300 women during the witch inquisitions and we had him with us. Hooray! How lovely! Um, so I don't want to say too much. I just thought I'd give you a little introduction to this um, and give you a little treat for Halloween. Um, so I didn't know how else to do it. Um, so I thought, well, if I do this video, put the link on underneath or give you a reference on how to search for it, you will find it. And believe me, I think you will enjoy it. As I say, it went into the South End Film Festival. It was very well received and it is all completely genuine, completely genuine. There was nothing, um, you know, dramatised. There is nothing but literally the raw footage that we got on the night with a camcorder. And cleverly, Richard has edited it, as I say, and made it look like and turned it into the film that it is. Um, I'd like your comments. I would like your comments. I remember someone commenting, this is obviously fake because um, this didn't happen. And I thought, wow, what a compliment. Someone thought it was actually faked and thought it was just a dramatisation. And that was the biggest compliment to me because it is completely real, you know, um, and... Yeah, scary, but if you remember in one of my older videos, I say that my granddad always said to me, always show anger and strength, you know, controlled anger and strength, don't ever show fear, and I didn't, I did not. Um, 
I got the right up with this man because he was like picking on people that had come just to communicate with the spirit world. It didn't quite work out that way. So I really hope you enjoy it. Please let me know um, on the comments below or the comments below the actual video itself. Um, and perhaps save it for tomorrow night. Save it for tomorrow night and see if um, we can have like a spooky little ghost fest and we'll sit around the TV <laughs> with some popcorn and watch it. Um, yeah, so I'm going to do some cards for you now as well. Yes, I'm feeling a bit cardy. Um, so enjoy the video, enjoy the Halloween experience um, and hopefully you'll be suitably spooked on a real life ghost hunt that went a bit wrong. So take care, and you're now going to see me do some card readings for you. So I've gone from dark to light, dark to light, dark to light. Um, speak to you soon. Enjoy the video. Let me know what you think. <laughs>